Milan's one of those cities that seems to have it all. Italian fashion, incredible arts, two of the world's great football teams, and it's the economic powerhouse of Italy's industrial north. The place is also pretty forward-thinking when it comes to climate change, and its green renaissance is seeing some cutting-edge projects come to town. The latest of those projects is this. Say hello to the Milan Innovation District, or MIND. Three billion US dollars is being poured into making this a state-of-the-art place to work and live. But the most impressive part isn't the elegant squares or lakeside paths, it's MIND's digital twin, the first of its kind in the country, which will closely track and help control carbon emissions. But will it be enough to make this the jewel in the crown of Italy's green capital? This 1 million square metre project is currently being built on the former site of Expo 2015, a world's fair that was dedicated to advances in food production. Planners are hoping to harness that spirit to turn this place into an innovation hub. Now, that might sound like a corporate buzzword, but innovation hubs can actually have a big impact on an economy and produce world-changing breakthroughs. The formula goes something like this. Create a space where companies, researchers and entrepreneurs can collaborate and form links to a university or an industry leader. Then throw in something like cheap rent or free healthcare and sit back and watch the innovation happen. Okay, so it might not be as easy as that, but it's the formula that's given us Stockholm's Unicorn Factory, the launchpad of Spotify, Skype and Candy Crush, and London's glamorous Silicon Roundabout. MIND will build on Milan's status as a leader in medical research, bringing together a new research hospital and the headquarters for Human Technopole, Italy's life sciences institute. There'll also be housing and office space for up to 60,000 people, and when they need a rest from all that innovation, there are restaurants, bars and leisure facilities too. What we want to do within MIND is to have a five minutes uh, a district in which you work, but you also have a lot of services, leisure services, gym, restaurants, uh, small supermarkets. It's 2022, so environmental sustainability is big on the agenda. Running through Mind Center will be Europe's longest linear park. This will be the centerpiece of green infrastructure, housing thousands of native trees, as well as pollination strips designed to encourage biodiversity. The district is going to be built without any fossil fuels, and by 2040, the whole development will be carbon neutral. Mind's digital twin, a virtual copy of the whole development, is going to be essential in getting there. Digital Twins looks set to revolutionise civic infrastructure in the decades to come. By 2025, over 500 cities worldwide could be using a digital twin to manage some area of their operations. Diana Olick brings us the story of one startup using virtual imagery in the fight against climate changes. The digital grid at Mind works by collecting data on how and when buildings are used. That data will then be used to model an individual building's usage, allowing AI to run its heating, ventilation and lighting. The data on how individual buildings operate is then shared across the whole grid, letting the digital twin run at a district management level. This digital grid that we are developing is going to serve not only the technological and connectivity needs of all the players, but will also enable a lot of mobility, uh, data gathering, uh, app services that will make life in mind easier. As mind citizens go about their innovative business, this technology will silently ensure their buildings operate at maximum efficiency, constantly monitoring energy usage and waste. It's these kind of insights which show the potential for digital twins in the wider fight against climate change. A whopping 70% of global carbon emissions are emitted by cities, and buildings account for around two-thirds of that. If we want to stop the world from getting warmer, then we need to make sure our buildings are as efficient as possible. Digital twins are essential in helping achieve this. This technological uh, enabling that uh, we can count on, for example, can uh, make us use a lot of IoT application, Internet of Things application that would monitor, uh, for example, how many people are in a building and change the consumption of electricity or consumption of heating or air conditioning depending on how many people are in at a certain time. 
At least that's the theory. What remains to be seen is how the technology at Mind will work in practice. In a place that's designed to create innovation and change, will the digital grid be able to keep up as building uses change and new buildings are constructed, or will it become less relevant? Because of the, the, the inheritance we have uh, from Expo 2015 and the peculiarities and characteristics of the players that are moving to mind, uh, this is definitely going to be a district very much future-proof in terms of IT and digital infrastructure. With digital twins set to become the norm in the coming decades, will MIND be able to integrate into larger twins the scale of Milan or the surrounding area? What happens in years from now is anyone's guess, but what's important is that a place like MIND is willing to try and develop this new generation of technology, acting as a trailblazer and a case study for others to follow and learn from. You can be sure it won't be the last of its kind in Milan. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about where construction is headed, make sure you're subscribed to Tomorrow's Build.